My name is Krishna Iyer. I am the executive director of pediatric and congenital heart surgery at the Fortis S. Scott's Heart Institute in New Delhi. When we say congenital heart defect, it essentially means that uh, defects of the heart which are formed in the process of the formation of the heart. So the child is essentially born with a heart which is not formed normally. Some of the common symptoms that we have is one is blueness of the fingers, toes and tongue which we call cyanosis or Gleyman's term also known as the blue baby syndrome. So these children basically have less oxygen in the blood going to the body and that shows up as blueness in the various structures, especially what is visible. The second is fast breathing. So if you have a situation because the heart and the lungs are in close uh, proximity as well as the circulations are connected. So usually heart defects affect the lung function. So these children may have fast breathing and that is one of the earlier signs. The third symptom is the failure to gain weight. So some of these children, because with a heart defect, the heart has to work extra. They spend more energy in breathing because the lungs are heavy. And so they don't gain weight even if their intake is adequate. So that's the third. And the fourth is frequent chest infection. So because as I mentioned that the heart and the lungs are closely connected. So when they have a heart problem, which is results in increased blood flow to the lungs. The lungs are more susceptible to infection. So these children present with frequent episodes of chest infection, pneumonia, or what we call as common cold even. And the fifth way that it is picked up is the child may be otherwise well, but visits a pediatrician for maybe immunization or for a cough and cold. And the pediatrician puts a stethoscope on the chest and he picks up what is called as a murmur or a noise. And that leads to a suspicion of a heart disease, which is further investigated. There's no specific cause known. By and large, we say it's a chance occurrence. If you take the incidence of one in a hundred children being born with a heart defect, then we come to a figure of something like 2.25 lakhs or two and a half lakhs, that's a quarter of a million children who are born with congenital heart disease every year. So it has a very major health impact because A, uh, congenital heart disease doesn't cure itself. So it requires treatment and treatment is by and large surgical. So it involves cardiac surgery or some sort of a cardiological intervention. Simpler defects like holes can be closed with a device which is done by the cardiologist. So it's called intervention. But either way, it requires some form of interventional therapy for it to be treated. <clears throat> If it is left untreated, then the child is not going to have a normal life. He is going to be sick. And though sicknesses may involve hospitalization for treatment. And so it's a financial burden on the family, whichever way. The treatment itself and the period intervening from the time it is diagnosed to the period of treatment. And then subsequently also, most heart diseases, even after treatment, require regular follow-up to make sure that they're not getting into trouble later on. But as I mentioned, simple things like avoidance of alcohol, avoidance of certain specified drugs, like for example, anti-epileptic drugs and things during pregnancy, then though it can reduce that particular small subset of patients. But for the vast majority, since we don't know why it occurs and we assume that it's a chance occurrence, it's very difficult to prevent. <laughs>